So uh, let us see the texture mapping in uh, computer graphics today. So this uh, 3D rendering pipeline we have discussed and uh, let me recall it for you. First we have 3D primitives that is 3D figures as you can say. These are in 3D modeling coordinates right now. Then we transform the model that is model transformation is done to bring them into the world coordinate. Then the lighting is applied which uh, is again in 3D world coordinate. And then viewing transformation is done here. Then uh, with the world coordinate, it is brought into the 3D viewing coordinate through projection transformation, then projection coordinate through then clipping into the 2D uh, projection coordinate, then viewport transformation and scan conversion. So we'll see the texture mapping today. What are the textures? See, it's a wire mesh. It's a wire mesh if you only connect the points because ultimately you only have points. 3D point. So you are connecting it uh, either through say a triangle or any other say quad quadrangle. So when you are connecting them, it will just be like a simple wire mesh. But what about a wire mesh? I am saying that uh, you have seen the football football um, you know net the goalpost net. It is like that only. So what about making or giving it a realistic view by draping certain image? That is a texture. What you are what you actually show on the the wire mesh that is the texture. So texture cold variation in in the interior of 3D polygon. It is this is the color variation. Okay, we'll see about that. Don't worry about that. We can we when uh, scan converting a polygon. So what happens here is it vary pixel colors according to the value fetched from the texture. So texture is this is a texture. Now this is a surface. Now how this texture is transported or tra or draped onto the surface. So this is how the final texture with the surface gives you an image. Ultimately, you have to see the image only that with that with, uh, texture. So a texture surface it adds visual detail to surfaces of 3D object, right? Now this is a plain polygon model. Please uh, see the observe the ceiling and the floor. The ceiling and the floor here with a surface texture. Now it is giving a more realistic view. These are the textures. These are the textures. So it adds visual detail to the surface of 3D objects. So we'll see the texture mapping methods like uh, mapping filtering and texture mapping applications also. So we'll start with the texture mapping. How to map this texture? The steps uh, in the texture mapping is first we define this texture. As you saw, we define this, this texture first. So we specify mapping from texture to surface. Texture to surface mapping is done. And then we look up texture values during the scan conversion. Okay, let me tell you. This is a texture coordinate system. This is a coordinate system of texture. This is where you have to model. This is the modeling coordinate system. These are this, this is the texture. So when you drape this onto or place it, this texture coordinate system onto, onto the modeling coordinate system, this is how it is seen in the device coordinate system, this one. Okay. So we define the structure, we specify a mapping from texture to the surface, this is texture to the surface, and then we look up texture value during a scan conversion. When uh, you are doing this scan conversion, that is you are converting this scan converting, so what happens? A device coordinate system which is uh, XY, device coordinate system, this is XY, modeling coordinate system is UV, and texture coordinate system is TS. Okay. So this is how it is seen here and this is how it will be seen here. Then we come to the 2D projection transformation. So in this 2D uh, projection transformation under texture mapping, we transform or there is a transformation of 2D projective transformation from the text texture coordinate system that is TS to the device coordinate system. So what we do here? From here to here, texture coordinates system to modeling coordinate system. So texture coordinate system to, uh, sorry, this is the device coordinate system here. So ultimate aim is to take the texture and place it on the device at a particular place. So this is 2D projection transformation, that is texture coordinate system to device coordinate system. So in this texture mapping, we do the scan conversion. So what we do is interpolate texture coordinates. We interpolate the texture coordinate, that is distortion due to bilinear interpolation approximation. We, there is a distortion due to bilinear interpolation uh, approximation. So we cut polygon into smaller ones. We cut the polygon into smaller ones or perspectively divide at each pixel. 
or perspectively divided each pixel so this is say these are the uh, texture coordinate these are not the you know device coordinate or any other coordinate these are the texture coordinate so uh, we try to find out the way we did on in interpolation or extrapolation at that uh, previous discussions so these are the two points and on the basis of these points the uh, these three points the texture are defined so this is the linear interpolation of texture coordinate and this is the corrected interpolated with perspective divide then we come to the filtering texture filtering so we must sample texture to determine color at each pixel in image we must sample the texture such that to we want to determine color at each pixel in the image so this uh, texture filtering here aliasing see this this uh, region aliasing is a problem this is point sampling this is area uh, filtering so we apply the texture filtering also okay let us see this this region so ideally in texture filtering we use elliptically uh, elliptical shaped convolution filters and uh, but in practice we use rectangles so this is the texture and finally this is a screen this is the screen representation of these elliptically sh shaped convolution filters so the size of filter depends on the projective warp projective warp so uh, this is the uh, see we have in pre filtering images mid maps and there are some area tables so this is the texel or texture element this is the texture element and this is the picture element so the conversion is from the texel to the pixel so this is magnification this is minification what are these mip maps we keep textures pre filtered at multiple resolution already so for each pixel linearly interpolate we try to li linearly interpolate between two process level that is we apply the trilinear filter this is fast and quite easy for hardware that is we have already pre filtered multi multiple resolution kept then we come to the texture mapping applications these are all so first is a uh, modulation texture we map texture values to scale factor this is the texture value okay we know all, from here to here we are already aware so this is the texture value so this is say we have wood texture so we apply these two and the combination is like this illumination mapping we map texture values to the surface material parameter surface material parameter so here, here we have various parameter that is k k a k d k s we, we take into account all these so kt will be equal to that kt will be nothing but this one the t t r that is te texture uh, function bump mapping we map texture values to the perturbation a perturbation means there is a disturbance so uh, we map texture values to disturbances of surface numbers these bump mapping is like this see this is the bump mapping environmental mapping we map texture values to the environmental map right this is see this is the pixel projection onto the environment map this is the projection reference point so this this is the pixel area this is the surface and this is the pixel projection onto environment map so this is called the environmental mapping this is image based rendering so we uh, what we do here is we map photographic textures to provide details of the coarsely coarsely detailed polygon model see these are the coarsely detailed polygonal model this is non photorealistic rendering so uh, this is a very short discussion we have done on texture mapping so if uh, time permits i'll i'll tell you in detail also i'll make one more uh, discussion on thank you so much